And at that time, I lived upstairs from my oldest sister and her husband. And I lived uh, upstairs, and she lived downstairs. And I remember when I started to uh, hemorrhage and lose the, the, was the beginning of the uh, uh, miscarriage that I had, I remember her coming upstairs, and that's when they called the doctor to come over to the house. In those days, the doctor would come to the house. And uh, I lost the baby there, right upstairs where I, you know, where, the, where I lived. And, uh, and that, that was it. Hoped that I'd get pregnant again, and then yeah, and then I got pregnant of Kathy. That's of course Kathy was older than Bobby, of course. Every pregnancy that I ever had, I always worried that something would happen, and I was so pleased when they were all born. And first thing doctors did was check them all out. Kathy was kind of a normal pregnancy. That it was after that she was born that they found out as a baby she was three months old and she wasn't eating that good. That's when they found that she had this, what they called Cooley's anemia at the time. That was a, a telltale sign right there, uh, then and there. She never was, never did eat that good. And then when she, as I said, when she was three months old, she refused food. She was, uh, you know, very pale. Uh, that the doctor was very concerned. And then, and her tummy was all bloated from her spleen being enlarged. That's when they removed her spleen. We used to go in like, I think it was every three months that she needed a transfusion. Her veins were too small, they couldn't find them, but they, the veins that are more prominent right in the both sides of the head is where they would shave it because the veins were more accessible there. And that's why some of the pictures you could see where they shaved her head. When Kathy, when she got a little bit older and she'd have to go in for a transfusion, there was a day, I forget where we were, but I do remember her saying she had some little playmates and she had this one little girl whose name was Judy and she asked me, Mommy, what day does Judy go in to get her transfusion? Because she was so, you know, used to getting a transfusion that she thought that all little kids got transfusion. <laughs> I thought that, well, you know, I didn't know how to explain that one to her. She was a happy little kid, I'll tell you that. She, she lived life to the fullest. When She lived from, in fact, we used to laugh about it because she lived from one holiday to the next. Halloween would come, and what's the next holiday? And then Thanksgiving would come, and she said, then, I, then it's gonna be Christmas, then it's gonna be my birthday, and then it's, she always, she was always looking forward to holidays. Everybody loved her so much, and not only because, you know, she was a, she was a very, um, 
lovable little girl too. You know, it wasn't just because they, of what she had that they loved her. She was just a loving little girl. She was a lovable little girl. And, and everybody just took to her. She always said she wanted a sister, always though. Even, even as close as she was with Bobby, and then Mark being the baby, she always wanted a sister. Always, uh, always, she always wanted a sister. That's why she used to sing with Kathy and, and, uh, and she wanted a sister called Karen. That's why Karen's got her name. Because she always said, I want a sister. And we'll be Kathy and Karen, our sisters. And we'll sing Kathy and Karen, our sisters. The name of the, 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 name of the, the song was Frankie and Johnny were sweethearts, I think it was. I said, you know, Dr. Uh, Selkirk, she said when she grows up she wants to be a doctor. And I said, I think that's because she wants to get back at all of you for what she's done, for what you've done to her over the years. And he said, don't plan on her being anything. He said, she might not have that full life. I said, oh yeah, she will. No, I thought she'd outgrow it. I, I was in... Not that anybody made me think that, but I just kept thinking, oh, well, when she gets older, I bet you she'll outgrow it, you know, that she might outgrow it, or not need the, the uh, transfusions as often. And nobody told me that. I just figured that myself. I just kept thinking, oh, well, you know, when she gets older, she'll probably outgrow it. But Judy Riemann was her best girlfriend. As a matter of fact, the night Kathy got real sick, she had come from a movie uh, with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Riemann and Judy. They took her and uh, they took Judy and Kathy to a movie, and I don't remember what the name of the movie was. And it was on a Sunday, and when they got home Sunday night, she was, was that was her last night home. No, it was funny because she was feeling pretty good. She came back. They came back from the movie, and I'll never forget her words to me. I had baked a ham, and she said uh, for the next day she was going to, I was going to pack her lunch for school. And she, before she went to bed, she says, I'm going to have a nice ham sandwich. I remember those words as clear as anything. She went to bed saying, I'm going to have a nice ham sandwich. And then during the night she started to have a fever. She got real hot. And of course with her, she got fever. Anything happened with her, Dr. Selkirk wanted to know immediately. In fact, I called Dr. Selkirk in the middle of the night and he came himself. He came himself and brought her to the hospital. And Aunt Julia went with him to the hospital. And then she was with him and with Grandpa. They were with her because I was pregnant of Karen. Yes, I was pregnant of Karen. They went to the hospital with her, and when they came back, they came back with Father Snyder to tell me that she had died. I don't remember. I, all I know, I, I was crying. I know, I remember crying. I remember crying, but I remember trying to, uh, not to get that upset because I was pregnant of Karen, and, and I didn't want anything to happen to that baby. But I remember, oh, I remember I was crying. And then I remember my sisters coming. I remember my, all my brothers and sisters coming to that house. I remember my brother Tom, how he cried. And I can remember my brother Tom, we were sitting around that table in Eggersville. And I remember my brother Tom, who was the youngest of all the boys. I can remember my brother Tom saying, honey, if I could take the pain away from you, I would. I can remember those words so plain. It's funny the things you live through in your lifetime.
Father, she never made her first communion. And he said, what better way of making it than in front of God? I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. Never. What better way of making it than in front of God? I can't imagine. I can't imagine. This might have no, nothing to do with whatever you're recording. But I can't imagine a world that's been created by a loving God that would give you a child as special as she, and then that's the end of it, and that's the end of her, and that's the end of me, and that's the end of life. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. That would insult my intelligence. So no, yeah, I expect to see her again for sure. I have a... <laughs> I'm so sure of it, I would bet my life on it. Oh, you left me too soon, honey. <laughs> I wanted you to have your sister. <laughs> I wanted her to have that sister she always wanted and have some nice times on earth with her. But that's, that's maybe in the future. Who knows? She died September 21st, and, Ka and Karen was born... Uh, November 15th. The only thing that you ever really said, told me about, until um, even within the last 10 years that I ever knew about the song that she had, that she always wanted a little sister named Karen, and had the little song, Kathy and Karen are sisters. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is, you know, made my name even that more special to me. Now you're gonna make me cry. I don't know. I think I, you know, every day I, I kind of talk to her, you know, and I think I would just sit down and, and want her to hold me, and just I would just cry, just cry everything out that. You are going to make me cry, aren't you? Um, she's my sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's weird. I never, when I was younger, I never felt that. But I guess maybe being older, being wiser, being a mother, having two daughters, you know, watching sisters, and that makes a difference. You know, if I make it up, up to heaven, yeah, I will. I think she'll be one of the first, if not the first person that I, that, that'll be waiting for me to see me, her and my mom. This is something that's really amazing, is that you were named Kathy. You, Kathy, were named Kathy because you were born just before Mary. And your father wanted to know something about they were going to name the first one Kathy and you were, you came out first they picked you out first but you that's how you got your name Kathy actually Kathy you you're Kathy's namesake really cuz nobody else was named Kathy nobody else was and your mother wanted it to be if she had a girl she was going to name it Kathy and you were the first one out so you were the oldest of the two of the twins so you got the name Kathy Yep. Frankie and Johnny were sweethearts, and oh, what a couple in love. Frankie was loyal to Johnny, just as true as the stars above. He was her man. But he was doing her wrong Now Frankie went down to the drugstore Some ice cream she wanted to buy And the soda jerk told her that Johnny Was making love to Nellie Bly He was her man But he was doing her wrong 